Well, we get calls for chest pain on a daily basis, multiple times a day. Um, it's our job to figure out, you know, what the cause of that chest pain is, and, and a lot of times it is cardiac. Doug Orr and his Adams County paramedic team say the best thing you can do during a heart emergency is dial 911. Many people make the mistake of trying to drive themselves to the hospital, minimizing their complaints, uh, believing that it's not their heart, um, uh, possibly thinking that it's uh, indigestion or a muscle pull or something like that, and then come to find out it's their heart. It's been proven that by calling 911 and allowing the ambulance come to come and start your treatment at your bedside or, or at your home, that uh, it's, they have better um, chance of survival. Better, better chance of survival right. yeah. The second thing to do is start chest compressions immediately. Your chance of survival drops 10% every minute you're not breathing. We went to a private residence uh, for a person short of breath. We, when we arrived, uh, the daughter was doing compressions on her mother. And once we got there, we started our care with her and we did end up reviving uh, this lady. So uh, her, her daughter doing these compressions actually saved her life. Yes, yes, she did. Before you start thinking about what to do in case of a heart emergency, think about how you can prevent it. Well, to be heart healthy, you just need to eat right, exercise. Um, if you're concerned about your heart, then you should definitely see your doctor. Symptoms of a heart attack are chest pains that may stay in your chest or travel through your left arm, neck, and face. You can also experience shortness of breath, feel lightheaded or dizzy. If you have any of these symptoms, call 911 immediately. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News, Quincy.